This is it, guys. This is the next generation. Yes, I got an Xbox One instead of a PS4. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad about that, but this is the next generation Call of Duty Ghosts uh, playing Team Deathmatch on Cracked or no Tremor, Tremor. And uh, I'm using the Honey Badger with a tracker sight. And uh, to be honest, I think the tracker sight is kind of OP in this game. Just being able to see people across the map glowing orange. I guess it can kind of cut down on campers, but it's pretty overpowered in my opinion. And uh, one complaint I have about this game on this console, I don't know if it does it on the PS4, but using the tracker sight, when I scope in, sometimes in the corners it'll kind of like glitch out and uh, have a weird looking uh, texture to it. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I don't know if it happens in this gameplay, but it's happened in the past quite often, and it kind of gets annoying, but, um, yeah, that's one complaint. So far, I really, really like the Xbox One. Um, I got this game, NBA 2K14, Rise, Forza 5, and Dead Rising 3. I got those games for launch date, and my brother, he got one also, and he got a uh, Ghost in Madden 25, but we share Ryzen, uh, Dead Rising 3. But uh, I'm going to have some Forza 5 gameplay coming soon because I'm really, really liking that game. And uh, the game looks very, very pristine, sharp. It's It looks beautiful. It's probably my favorite like not my favorite game but the it's the best looking game out of all the games that I've gotten <laughs> and uh if you guys want I can have a rise campaign walkthrough I've already beaten it but I can play it for you guys it's I would definitely play it again it's very fun kind of gets repetitive at times but it's very fun indeed uh also if you haven't checked out Grayson's new GTA Online Fun with Friends, I think he really did a good job on that video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll probably put a link in the description for you guys to see that, but it's it looks really great. So, let's talk about Ghosts. Um, I've beaten the campaign, but I will do a campaign walkthrough if you guys want one. See that IED kill right there? That was That was pretty nice. But, um, <laughs> if you guys want a campaign walkthrough, I will do one, but, um, multiplayer, there is complaints that I have about multiplayer. Uh, one complaint is, if you don't see the guy first, you have no chance at all to kill him. Like, sometimes I'll even get killed as I'm shooting the person, so, in that the person that I'm shooting will kill me. See right there, I almost died, and he already took shots from the first guy. <laughs> That's one good example. And um, another complaint is it takes a really long time. I guess it's my internet connection or something, but it takes a really long time to get into uh, the actual lobby to start playing the game multiplayer. It takes me like two minutes just for it to get into the lobby to start playing a game. And it's 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 very annoying at times, but if I get in, I'm happy. Uh, but about the Xbox One, I got home, unboxed it. I was so happy to play. I put in the game, and it says installing. And I just sit there for like five minutes, and, I'm like, and it hasn't even moved 1%. So I'm like, so I get the console and I don't be, I'm not able to play my games. That kind of made me mad. And it took like, Rise was the first game that I wanted to install. And it took like an hour to an hour and a half to install the whole entire game. And I'm sure it's not because of the uh, console, because it's downloading from a disc. So... I was really, really mad about that, and I had to do that with all the games that I got that day, and, um, yeah, it just, 
it bugged me that I wasn't able to play my games when I wanted to. I had to wait for this install to finish, but I have all the games installed now, so that's not a problem. But, um, yeah, that's one complaint I have. So, uh, this is the next generation. Much more to come. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, Forza 5 coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, see you guys later. Peace.